Scroll box is a pro feature or a pro extension that comes with the Element Pack Pro from BD Themes. In this video, we'll have a look at where you activate it because you may miss it and then how it works. Very, very simple. It may be activated already within your version of Element Pack Pro, but if it isn't, it's very important that you go to the right place. Otherwise, you're going to end up like me thinking I got something wrong with my version and then finally finding it in the place I did not expect to find it. The reason why I got confused is that on the website, it said a widget. So I went to Element Pack Pro and I was looking for it under core widgets and I couldn't find it. I thought maybe the name was different, couldn't find it. And then finally, for some reason, I just went to extensions and voila, I found it. So remember, please go to your Element Pack Pro extensions and you will find your scroll box here and activate it. I doubt it's activated by default because this is a very exclusive usage of it. So it's something that you will only activate if you're really, really going to use it. Will you use it? Well, I can see quite a number of possibilities where you can use it if you have a terms and conditions and you have a very long document that you want to add to your site and you want people to read through it, but you don't want to have this entire thing pasted on a page, you put it in the scroll box. Let's grab, mm, I can actually grab anything. I'll go here to the contact form. I just need some page created with Elementor. Scroll to the bottom and scroll, scroll. And then here in our widgets pane, I will just simply type in scroll. And I won't find it because remember, I told you it's not a widget. It's an extension still in that habit. What you do is you grab the text editor and this is where you're going to find the scroll box extension. Click hold and drag and drop it. And then you get your normal text editor. What I will do in this case is just bring in some text. I like to go to the Project Gutenberg where you get the text from the books that are in the public domain. And this one is from Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley, famous Frankenstein. Grab a load of text here for us and then copy that. Let's go back, select the text here in the editor, Control Command V to paste that. Now we've got all the text. Now, again, it may be that you don't really care about having all of this text on the page and the idea is actually for people to scroll. But if you think of the terms and conditions, those kind of legal documents, often it's just a small little area here and then you scroll, scroll, scroll here with the scroll bar on the right and that's what the scroll box is going to do for you. To activate the scroll box and turn this text widget into a scroll box widget, go to style and you will see here in the editor on the left, scroll box, select, and then activate. And it turns it immediately into the scroll box. Your maximum height can be done in a percentage or pixels and currently set at 100 pixels. That's a little too tiny, especially if you're working on a desktop. So I'll go for 350, gives it a little bit more visibility and you know what's going on there. Important here is that you will have to go and have a look on tablet and then also have a look on your mobile device. You may want to add a few more pixels for the height on your mobile device. Let's just do that for good measure. I'll put it on 450 and then you can see you can cycle through the different responsive views and indeed they are responsive. The width here is a little bit misleading. Originally, I thought the width relates to the widget width, but it relates to the scroller width here. Currently, it's narrow. If I drag it, put it there to 50, you can see we have this big, thick block that becomes that scroller. I like it around 20 because I... No, 20 is a little too much. 15. I am one of those people who just cannot get the scroll to work properly. But then again, going to mobile and even tablet, I may just increase it for those with their clumsy thumbs like me who cannot find it easily. 
and apply that responsiveness to it. And then you have functions like border type. We put solid. You will see again it relates to this scroller area and not to the widget. I do not like that, but you could put it in there with light shadows. And then you have the border radius if you were using it. So here are the names, thumb. Okay, the thumb, that's that little one there. And then the track, that is the area in which the thumb is running. And you can apply styling to it with the background as well as a box shadow. I'm very happy with this standard feature. We could probably make it a little bit lighter. Let's go to the thumb and its background type, classic. Let's use a light gray. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Something a little bit less invasive. And that's what I would do. Let's go and test it on the front end, though. It looks pretty, but does it work? Preview. And scroll down. Here we have it. And works perfectly. Very nice. Scroll box, what more can you ask for? I know a lot more. From me, JB, take care, stay safe, go well, and see you in the next video.